Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to show you how to mine Scala on your CPU on Windows. Since I've done previous tutorials on the mobile mining for it and how to set it up in Hive OS, if yourself or you're able to CPU mine on Hive OS, I haven't had any luck, but I figured just to show you guys. And then now I'm going to follow up with a Windows tutorial here, since I figured then I cover all aspects of Scala and all the aspects of mining for Scala. So if you are wanting to get set up in any way, I have a whole uh, few videos on Scala, and you can go ahead and check them out if you are wanting to mobile mine. But if you're wanting to strictly CPU mine on a CPU mining rig, this is a video for you. I'm going to show you the CPU mining software and a couple pools to check out. And then we can go ahead and get started with mining on a CPU on Scala. So I'm not going to go over the website too much here as I covered it a lot in the other videos. So you can go ahead and check it out. You can check out the website for yourself or follow up with my other videos there if you want a more in-depth. But as you see, they're focused on just mobile. They're an anonymous private uh, blockchain and everything. So it's kind of like uh, XMR or Monero, if you will. And it's based off of RandomX and a few other algorithms. It's mainly focused and optimized for CPU and ARM architectures. So it's strictly just for that. There's no way GPUs or ASICs can get in for mining it. It's a combination of the RandomX, Kangaroo 12, and Yes Power algorithms. So just all strictly CPU or mobile mining. And like I said, you can go ahead and dive in and check it out for yourself if you want more information. But if you come over to the menu here, you can download their wallet because obviously you're going to need a wallet. You can go ahead and use an exchange. Uh, you can go ahead and use this one, if you will. I have just got to pull it up. There we go. I don't recommend using an exchange wallet because there are issues sometimes with transferring. But I don't I haven't had any issues with using this exchange and getting uh, mining to it and everything. But if you're wondering where an exchange is and if you want a wallet, uh, you can use this website here. Or like I said, you can go ahead and set up their core wallet on your mobile device because obviously you're going to need one set up either way before you start mining. So make sure you get that done. I'm not going to dive into that part. I'm just going to focus on the actual CPU mining aspect. If you want to look at setting up your wallet and stuff, my other videos cover that in the Scala. But if you come over to the GitHub here, the links will be in the description. This is XL XLA rig. So it's the program that is used for uh, mining uh, XLA or Scala. It's an XM rig fork, so it's based off random X, so you know it's just proper CPU mining. And as you see, it's all just normal, just like a normal uh, XM rig miner. So what you want to do is come over to the releases tab here, and you want to get the latest release, just depending on whatever operating system you have. So, but before you download it, you just want to come over to your settings, and this is just the easiest way. You go to update and security, you go to windows and security, you go virus and threat protection, and you just want to turn this off for the time being. So it's going to manage settings. And then you go real-time protection and just turn that off. Just due to the fact it's not a published uh, software. So it's going to get detected as a virus or a threat. So just download it. Obviously, we're doing Windows here. So you can download the Windows one. It's going to say it's a dangerous file. But just go to full download history. And you click keep dangerous file. Even though it's not dangerous, it's just not published. And then once you have it downloaded, wherever you have it downloaded, you just find it. And then you want to extract it. So you go 7-zip or a WinRAR, whichever you do have, and extract to, then the folder name. And as you see, we have it extracted here. So what you want to do is come back over to your virus and threat protection and go to the exclusions and click add or remove exclusion. Click yes. Click add an exclusion, add folder. And then you go to your downloads or wherever you have it downloaded. You double click the XL, XLA rig folder and then you click select folder. And then that's that. All you do is click back and then you can turn your real time protection back on. And then that part is set up so that way it just doesn't get nicked as a virus or anything of the sort. So what you want to do is come over to the folder wherever you have it downloaded and extracted. And there's going to be a few files in here. You can use a JSON file if you want, but I just use the Windows uh, batch files. You want to find the config underscore example. And then you want to right click and edit and edit with Notepad or whatever software you use. And then all you want to do is remove all of this above the xlrig.exe and then remove the space there. And this is going to be your basic command file so you can enter everything. And I have a couple pools picked out here that you can use. You can use the Scala mining pool. So this is set up by the community and developers. So it's one of the main pools that is used for Scala. Or you can go ahead and use the hero miners if you're familiar with this pool. It has a wide variety of coins and everything. 
but obviously you can just set it up for Scala here and then you can check your profits depending on your kilohash and everything. Then just depending on which pool you want to use, you want to set it up for that pool. So for example here, the Scala project pool, you go to getting started and then you see the mining pool address up top here. So this is pretty straightforward. You copy that and it's already in there. So I'll just show you anyways, you would just paste it there. And then the starting ports here, depending on your software and how big of a mining farm you have, the 3333 one is for mobile devices and low-end CPUs. This is for more mid-tier CPUs and this is for high-end CPUs. Obviously, it just depends on the size of your farm and how many CPU rigs you got running. I usually just go for the lower-end one. I never really set the medium or high-end. So all you do is copy that port number on whichever one you're going to use. So copy and then you'll just paste it there. It's already there. And then just remove the space. And then right here is going to be where you put your Scala wallet. So from the Scala Vault app on your phone, you can grab that wallet address. Or if you're using the exchange I told you to use, you can grab the wallet address from the exchange here. And we'll just go back to the pool. And then all you do is paste it in there. And then obviously you can put your rig name in. And all you want to do is click File, Save As, and then you go All Files. And then you can name it whatever, just so it you know it's the actual one start dot bat i believe so we go x that out so you'll have it right there and all i do is double click and it should start up again i'm on my uh, main pc so i'm not going to run it but it should start up and have no issue if there is any issue just make sure everything is set up proper to the pool if you are wanting to set up on hero miners here uh, all you do is click start and then they're going to give you all the different locations so for example i'm in canada so i'm going to pick the canadian uh stratum here so you would just copy this stratum you go copy and you go back to your start or the config again and then all you do is paste it in right here and then for the port is right here so it's the same port for all the stratums and then you paste that in and then i believe their setup is the same so for the username you're going to put your wallet address and then the rig name we can double check here so yeah, address and then the payment ID. So I believe it should be good like that. We can just double check how they have it set up. So wallet address and then password is your worker name. So yeah, you just set it up exactly the same way and then you'll be running on Hero Miners. And all you do is come down here and put your address in down here and you can look up your current stats. For the Scala pool here, all you do is click worker statistics and then you put in your Scala uh, address and then it'll come up with all of it this is mine i don't have my cpu running on it right now i'm rearranging my room yet again just for proper airflow because i got a new fan but yeah all you do is look that up and then you can get all your information and set up all your settings it's the same with here once that appears you can set up all the settings however you want the payouts and all of that i just figured to show you guys cpu mining on scala if you want to set it up for mobile mining or if you want to have your mobile uh, rig going as well as your cpu rig so you can maximize your profits when it comes to scala because it is starting to get more and more known so it's good to get in early and it's just you just don't see much mobile coins anymore so it's going to get a lot of hype i feel in the next run of crypto and everything and then same with the cpu aspect of it as well just strictly on cpu because some algorithms say that and then eventually a6 and gpus work their way in somehow um where Scala, it's always strictly just been the mobile mining and the CPU mining, so that's great to see. And then it just gives you an alternative for something besides Varus or XMR. If you are wanting to build up a bag of a coin, this is a good way because it's still very low price. So that way you can build up a lot of the coin and then hopefully if it runs at some point, you'll be set because it's always just kind of spec mining, but it does bring in some good profitability a little bit depending on your device and everything. It does run on older devices as well, where Varus Coin doesn't, so that opens it up even more. There's a few good opportunities and good things behind the actual Scala project and the Scala network itself. So I suggest setting up, you know, a CPU rig or a mobile rig for it. You know, it just expands your knowledge, expands your mining on it as well, like your mining farm and your capabilities of mining. Because you might think, oh, a phone, you know, but it's better than it sitting in a cupboard and getting covered in dust. And just not doing anything where you can make a few cents a day by having it running and set up. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover. All the links for this video will be in the description so you can get set up with the CPU mining. Hopefully this brought some information to you and then hopefully 
you know, you end up mining a little bit of Scala just to have a little bit of it for yourself. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy the video and it brought some info to you, make sure that like and subscribe button as it lets me know. And that way you stay notified for all my videos and uploads and things like that. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.